I think New Orleans definitely has great flavor. It's almost too salty, it's almost too spicy. When you combine that together with everything you get out of the fields, out of the bayous, out of the Gulf of Mexico, I mean, how can you not have a wonderful culture? My parents tell me I was a bit quick in the kitchen from the time I was itty bitty. Some of my earliest memories were smells of making jam in the kitchen, a fresh apple pie, really having a fondness for food. Creole is the only true indigenous food to all of North America. It all has to do with our history. Certainly France and Spain are the backbone. It was African-American influence. It's the way people in Louisiana have been eating for more than 300 years. Every dish has a story. The dish we want to feature today is the famous soft shell crab. It's like the quintessential seafood dish for spring. We add some seasoning, and we bread them, and then as we go to fry them, we actually lay the legs over a piece of steel, so it encourages the crab's legs to stand straight up in the air. The markets is what really sets great food cities apart. You know, if you don't have places to go to have fresh produce and great fish and great meats, how can you possibly have fantastic restaurants? One of my favorite things to do in the afternoon is just catch a streetcar. You can see all the great architecture, the port city where all these cargo ships are loading everything. Some of these really big homes, they have all the huge columns in the front. Very much like that plantation style of house. It arcs back to a different era. You can stay here a week, still not see it all. One of the nicknames for New Orleans is the Big Easy. And really, everything is easy going about it. The nightlife is absolutely second to none. There's something to do 24 hours a day. It's the birthplace of jazz. So you can walk down the street, stop, see the band. It doesn't get any better than this. New Orleans, it's the spice of my life.